This week, Alf and I are going on a cruise. It'll be our first holiday since like before COVID. But it's a cruise to nowhere. So you pretty much jump on a big ship and it takes you out to sea, but you're not really going anywhere. In order for us to be let on the cruise, we need to do a COVID test. So that's what we're doing. We're heading to the place. We're gonna get swabbed. Alfred's done one before, I have not. So I'm kind of like, I'm scared. What if it like touches my brain? Like they go so deep and it touches my brain. It's not comfortable, but it'll be over really quick. They do both nostrils, right? Yeah. So dun, dun, they put dun. it in, put it in the nostril, and they twist it around. <gasps> they twist it. One full twist. Take it out. Put it in the other nostril. Full twist. Should be fine. Should be fine. The weather is horrible today as well. Ugh. So we just did our test. It wasn't so bad, guys. Well, I wasn't allowed to film it, but yeah, it, the, the swab was actually like tiny. It was really, really small. But um, the person that swabbed me said that my swab didn't go in that deep and there was like something kind of blocking my nose. And I was like, is it common? He was like, not really. And I was like, oh, both of my nostrils. Now I'm concerned. There's something wrong with me. I'll went up to his brain or something. We just checked into our room. There is Alfred. Hello. Actually, Alfred, you give us a tour. Do you like a tour? I don't even know. Yeah, we, we just literally got in there and this I whipped the out room. the camera. I mean, this is pretty much it. This is the bed. This is the TV. Oh, yes. We have like a balcony out here. Yes, I want to see the bathroom. Very cute. Oh, can you fit in this bathtub? I think you could. Oh, it's very snug in here. And that's the shower. On this side, we have the toilet. Today, the weather is quite poopy. I don't know if you can hear the rain. Alfred's already unpacking his stuff. He's so organized. But yeah, this is gonna be our first cruise. And it's a shame that it's a cruise to nowhere, but in everything, I try to see the positives and, oh my God, was that lightning? <laughs> Trying to see the positive. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe there's not that many positives. Anyways, the good thing about going on a cruise during COVID and times like this is that it's not as crowded. So maybe they'll be better. First order of business, we're going to get a snack. So seeing that it's pretty much like all you can eat on the cruise and there's lots of different options, we thought we would start our trip off with some pizza. The restaurant is like really busy already and so we've got like this side seat that's really dark. Let's just dig in. I got like a pepperoni pizza. It's not bad. It's okay because I'm hungry. Facing nothing. We're checking out the family bar now. We got the drinks package, and so we got to make use of it. You got to pay for it daily. Can't you just buy it for one day? That's the that's the thing. So we need to milk it. So we're checking out another one of the restaurants included in the cruise and this one's called Windjammer. It's like a buffet and the desserts look so good. Oh, I definitely want to try those later. 
Is that like a fancy crab? Oh my god, it's a bread crab. I see my favorite kimchi. I'm kind of regretting having those slices of pizza because I need more room in my stomach to eat all these. Connie just got two kiwi fruits. We decided the nachos are a bit, mm. the tortilla chips are kind of soggy, but we replaced it with papadums and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That crunch. One of the activities is this indoor skydiving and this guy is so pro, look at him. I mean, I think that's pro. He's like Iron Man and Spider-Man put together. Do you wanna try it, Alfred? <laughs> yeah, there is no way we can do any of these hectic tricks. Just warning you, there's just gonna be a lot of eating because apparently that's what cruises are about. Eat, booze, and relax. So now we're at dinner. I think it's like a sit down dinner, so you order off the menu and stuff, but it does look good. How beautiful it is today wow it's really really bright out we just woke up it's like 10 a.m we have a gym appointment booking at 11 that's the thing here you need to book like everything and so i think we're gonna just skip breakfast because i don't want to work out on a, on a full stomach where is this gym we got to like walk so far to go to the gym. I'm going to be puffed up by the time we get there. This gym is actually quite big and I don't remember the last time I stepped foot into a gym. It's pretty big and what's good is it there's social distancing so it's not crowded. Try some Bosu ball workouts. It's been a while, so. So I remember there was this exercise that my personal trainer would make me do, and it's like core and like legs, and you get a Bosu ball, put it this way, and you like step on. Oh my god, hopefully I don't fall off. You step on and you balance, and now you do the squats. Okay, squat down bit. But don't like straighten your legs all the way. So kind of keep a bend in there. So your legs are always working. <laughs> oh my God, it's so hard. Let's make it like one notch harder. Here, we'll make it harder. Up and up a notch. We're gonna do a squat. And then when we come up, we're going to do our shoulders. really works your core and legs and now arms. We're gonna work off all the food we're gonna eat. And then another really hard exercise is you grab like, a, what do you call these? Like a big bouncy ball and we're gonna work our core. Let me see if I can actually still do this properly. You put your like foot on the ball, both foot really. So it's gonna be like that. I'm gonna roll it in. Oh my god, it's so hard. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Do five at least. One, two, five. Let's 
go for 10. I'm like my own personal trainer. Oh my god. I was just trying to impress you, but I think I can do that again. Oh, I just found these. I actually don't know what you do with these. I feel like it's like the rings fit on the switch. Oh no, on the Wii, sorry. Is this for your legs or something? Oh my God. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with this? I feel like Xena, the warrior put this. I found Connie, she's on the treadmill. We've got to like be one treadmill apart because that one's blocked off for social distancing. Okay, let's just start at six. Leg day. Never skip leg day except for every other day. <laughs> Never skip leg day. I don't know about you, but I always feel a little bit more like intimidated when I go to the gym. Especially when you don't work out for a while. It's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know why my camera is doing this weird thing. I think it's like. It's messing around with my camera. But anyways, it's lunchtime now. We booked Jamie's Italian. So we pay for the, we pay for this in advance. And we pretty much like you order anything off the menu and it's like pretty much all you can eat. <laughs> so we ordered like a bunch of things and our friend said it's pretty good on board, so My friends have decided to go hit the casinos and try their luck. So I'm just back at my room and I just like did like a quick clean up. And look at this, look at this. It's an elephant. Look how cute it is. I'm just a sucker for these things, you know? I'm just really amazed that you can turn a towel into this. Anyways, I guess I have some alone time since all le buddies are at the casino. I'm not a gambler myself. I'm just like, if I don't lose any money, it's a win, so I don't even play. But yeah, so far the cruise has been pretty relaxing and this is my first cruise, so I don't get the full sort of experience of when you actually go on a cruise during normal times. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. I really do want to go back to Australia though. I miss my family, I miss my doggies, I miss all the good food and produce there. Fingers crossed I can go back in July this year for my birthday. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna chill out for a couple hours and tonight we have dinner. I think we booked like a steakhouse or something tonight. So I'm just going to just relax and unwind until then. So I'll check back in with you guys later. Where am I doing this? What is this? I am not a chef.
this whole vlog is going to be like a extended mukbang on a cruise so apologies if you don't like to watch me eat because that's all i'm doing Okay, I think this is the best food we've had so far and we're only at entrees. It's good, if you guys ever come on this cruise, this is a place to book. Pretty good, it beats our steak at, at home for sure. Sorry, Alfred. Okay, I'm just gonna demolish this and then after this, we're gonna check out a robot bar. <laughs> so they make cocktails for you, but it's the robot making it for you. Like, uh. Unfortunately, it's closed at the moment because it's past 10.30, so I'm going to visit it tomorrow. I just got into my room and look we've got a new thing here it's like the towel is watching tv how cool is that so cute and random oh my gosh guys i can't believe my trip is almost over we have one last dinner left and we saved the fanciest one for last this is Wonderland, one of the fancy schmancy fine dining restaurants on board. And I must say, I was really impressed. Everything was really magical, even the menu. So you have a brush and you have to wet the menu to reveal the words written on it. Look at these forks. They're kind of like a little bit weird, aren't they? Very unique forks. Oh, yeah. It's so clean because this still tomato water. Mm, it's actually quite good. Mm. <laughs> You're trying to lick the cream. The ambience and decor and the whole vibe was very much in line with Alice in Wonderland. And can we just talk about the food? Oh my gosh, like it was just so unique, so creative. And like most fine dining restaurants, they give you like small portions, but slowly those plates do fill you up. And what's good is you can order as many entrees as you want. So if that didn't fill you up, you can just order more. And honestly, we were filled to the brim even before dessert came out. So there's plenty of food and options at this restaurant. Mm -hmm. Kimchi. 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 We really enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun, creative and a great way to end the trip. Today 
were checking out, so the ship has already docked into Singapore and we woke up extra early so we can catch the sunrise today. How romantic of us. No, we were just both missing Biscuit and we're like, oh, we can't wait to see Biscuit. That's why we couldn't sleep. Thanks for looking after her, man. How was she? Whoa, whoa, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's so excited. Not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa, yes. whoa. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Just so... <laughs> oh, it's so happy. Yeah, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Are you doing? <laughs> what? Aww. What? Bum, doo 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 doo